To a 13 or 14 year old, a story from 70 years ago may not mean much. But when that story is told by the daughter of a Holocaust hero, it's impactful enough to make them want to take action. By filling out this pledge, I would just, you know, like to make a difference in somebody's life. Even if it's just one person, making a little bit of a difference would mean a lot to me. Racism and stuff going on in the world right now, and it would be nice for it to stop. The story that prompted the young students to make those pledges was told by Manly Ho. It's the story of Ho's father. Dr. Feng Shan Ho was a Chinese diplomat who saved thousands of Jews from the Nazis by issuing them visas to Shanghai. As risky as it was, Ho wasn't surprised by her father's actions. Amazed by the extent, but not surprised, because uh, it, in my mind, uh, what he did was totally in character. Ho shared the story with students from H.C. Avery and H.S. Paul schools at an event held by the Canadian Museum for Human Rights, Benai Breath Canada, and the Winnipeg Chinese Cultural Center. Um, he lost his father at age seven, and he and his family were helped by the Norwegian Missionary Society. Although her father taught her many lessons in life, Ho says this one in particular needs to be shared. The lesson was you need to stand up for what's right and uh, help those who are in distress and uh, stand up to bullies, even at gunpoint, which is what he did. The chair of the museum's fundraising arm says there is more value in using personal stories over textbooks when teaching students about the Holocaust. They meet someone who has done something extraordinary and they, they tell the story and they bring it to life. It resonates with you, it stays with you more, it moves you, it makes you empathetic and it makes you um, excited and proud and inspired to want to be that kind of person too. I get to live this great life and these people got, just because of their race, that they were Jewish and that's the only reason why they, their lives were taken from them and it's not fair at all. It wasn't fair. In keeping with Ho's father's teachings, she hopes that by sharing his story, she inspires other people to make a difference. You don't have to be a Gandhi, a Martin Luther King or a Dr. Feng Shan Ho to make a small difference in someone else's life. For Shaw TV, I'm Allison Hall.